Round two, autonomous. If blue wins, blue takes home the trophy. We see different autonomous code reds over the line. Blue wins autonomous. Red had an unfortunate line cross situation. Also, that's a mobile goal with five rings on it. So uh, that's going to be hard to beat. Right away, Blue going in, clearing out the positive corner, putting their five rings in the corner, and just securing that for themselves, taking possession of a second mobile goal. And we see a fight over here for the other two mobile goals. 86Y there, holding two mobile goals in its possession. Blue Alliance trying to score on the mobile goal through the red robot. Ten Ten Cheek quite happily playing defense here. Waiting for the mobile goal to become available, swapping off with the partner 502W to grab some mobile goal or to grab some rings and probably go for the wall stakes. And we got a six in the red corner for the mobile goal. Blue has to know about that. They're gonna be trying to fix it. Blue once again stacking up the wall stake as the referees reintroduce a uh, removed ring back into the field. Potential risk of mechanism issues here on 1010G, while 886Y continues to load up using their intake. 502W is holding four, mobile, four rings on a mobile goal, waiting for the timer to go down so that we can uh, have the protection period enabled. 30 seconds, the positive corners are protected. We're in the final 20 seconds of this final red, fighting to stay alive. Remember, they need to win to force a third match. Two red robots on the end there. They're fighting to try to get one on the stake, but Blue 502W won't let them pass. Blue's got the top ring on that stake, as well as on this stake over there. 886Y trying to fight their way in. And they're just gonna try to hang. Looks like one red robot.